What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire OU replay that I have for you guys on the channel doing here today. All that fun stuff. <laughs> but uh, today I have a battle against I Do Okay. I found him by requesting an Oras battle in the OU chat room. And uh, this was actually a really, really good battle. I'm on the near side, he's on the far side. I'll break down his team first. Um, so basically his team is a really cool kind of momentum based team around Mega Salamence, has the nice Volt Turn core, a Scarf Lando, and Defensive Rotom. He has Ferrothorn, which is probably here for rocks and spikes. He has uh, Latios to Defog, he has Mega Mence, which is the star of the show, and then he also has Greninja. And uh, my team looks kind of similar to his in the fact that we both have Mega Mence and we both have Greninja. But we differ a little bit because outside of my Mega Mence, I have Choice Band and Star After because I love using this thing this gen. And it breaks down a lot of the counters that Mega Mence has and weakens them a lot, such as Rotom. Rotom doesn't really stand a chance when going up against uh, Banded Star Raptor. Even uh, Ferrothorn takes like 70%. And then we also have Lee's Stealth Rock Terrakion, because I love using this thing. Also have a Greninja, also have a Scarf Excadrill, and then we have a Magnezone, which is here to trap Steel types that would stop uh, Magnezone from, or that would stop Salamence from sweeping, rather. So we're going to jump straight into the battle. Because I lead Terrakion, he leads Ferrothorn, and I'm just going to go ahead and taunt turn one, as I do okay, makes a really good play right here, goes for the Gyro Ball, and I would actually prefer him going for the Gyro Ball right here, and you'll see why, because I get up my rocks right here, as uh, he knocks me out with another Gyro Ball, and that just means I get a free switch into Magnezone, and I can HP fire once before the taunt wears off, and the reason this is key is because I will be able to 2-hit KO this with the HP Fire, and he does not get rocks at this battle, which is huge, because it means that I don't have to have Excadrill as a liability to spin anymore inside once I get it inside. Um, but he's just going to go for the Protect right here, and I guess in spite of like me being able to trap him with Magnezone, <laughs> and I just knock him out with the second HP Fire right here. Now, this is kind of a weird series of plays, because he's going to go in his Rotom. I'm going to go for the HP Fire, because I don't want to switch out and give his Mega Mance a free switch. Although, I do kind of do so by going for HP Fire again and again, because I am choice locked. He's going to miss a Hydro Pump, which is a bit unfortunate. And then he's going to burn me on the second turn right here. What I should have done is just go ahead and sack Magnezone. But, uh, Magnezone actually proved to be kind of pivotal later in the match, so, you know, it... It's whatever. I end up sacking Excadrill right here because I don't need to spin unless his Lando is like surprise choice scarf stealth rock. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and go into my Star After and just go ahead and click Double Edge because it will easily knock this defensive Rotom out and it will knock anything else on his team out. He decides to go into his Lando right here. I'm just going to go ahead and go into Magnezone uh, because I'm almost 100% certain. Uh, <laughs> almost 100% certain he is scarfed uh, because he had Ferrothorn for rocks. So I can just go ahead and click Flash Cannon once before I go out right here, uh, which is actually going to work out really well for me because I get to weaken this Lando a lot. And then he's actually going to make the play, which I don't necessarily agree with, of going out into Latias. Um, I guess it prevented him from getting swept straight up by Greninja, but I'm just going to get some damage off on that Latias, and then I can go out into my Greninja and go ahead and click Ice Beam and knock this thing out right here. Now this is a pretty key uh, line of events right here. I, I had to pray for a Stone Edge miss because I didn't want to put the game necessarily on Mega Mance because I'm not too familiar with its damage output. He's going to hit his first Stone Edge, knocks out my Greninja. I'm thinking, okay, maybe he'll miss the, stack, the second one and I can knock him out with a double edge. Uh, but he ends up hitting the second Stone Edge. And this, people, is why Mega Mance should be Ubers, undoubtedly. Quick ban it, please. Uh, because I get the Intimidate off. I'm going to Mega Evolve and look how much damage this does 40%. And I get a free Dragon Dance in Alando's face. And then I can just go for the Frustration and knock him out. He's going to go out into his Mega Salamence right here. And he's going to get the Intimidate drop, which really I just only need the speed to clean out the game. Because I'm going to hit him with a Dragon Claw right here knock him out. And he's going to go out into his Greninja, because that is his last. And I can just finish him off with a frustration area laid boosted super powerful so that was a very good game i do okay if you guys enjoyed this replay please make sure to leave a like so it really does help show support for the stuff that i'm doing here on the channel also make sure to enter today's comment question of the video which is do you guys think Mega Man should be quick banned i don't think i've asked this so far i'm not sure <laughs> but personally i think it should it's so good like you guys saw what it did it turned a 3-0 to a 1-0 and uh, with that i urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content and with that I'll catch you on the flip-flop.